today we are going to see some programs regarding tail recursion and head recursion so let us see what is tail recursion a call is said to be tail recursive if nothing has to be done after the call returns that is the when the call returns the return value is immediately returned from the calling function whereas the head recursion is a call is said to be head recursive when the first statement of the function is a recursive call in other words in head recursion the recursive call when it happens it comes before other processing statements in the function and in tail recursion it is the opposite of the processing occurs before the recursive call so let us see the program for showing the working of head recursion and tail recursion so i have included the header file stdio.h because i will be using some input output statement now the prototype for the tail recursion function is here void fun1 and integer that means fun1 is a function which takes one integer arguments argument and it does not return anything and i have declared a uh, fun2 is a head recursion function which takes again integer argument and it does not return anything and uh, in the main function i am just printing the message the tail recursion output and i am calling the function 1 by passing 3 as the argument and when function 1 of 3 is called then the statements which are inside the fun1 will be executed so first when fun1 is called with the argument 3 so 3 will be copied into the variable n and it is going to execute this statement so it checks whether the value of n is greater than 0 so in this case for the first time when n is 3 it is true so it prints the value of n which is 3 next it calls the fun1 with the arguments n minus 1 so when n minus 1 is passed so this n value will be replaced by 2 and again the if statement gets executed which will print the value of 2 and it calls again n uh, fun1 with the argument 1 so when 1 is passed to n so again the if condition is true and it prints the value of 1 and fun1 of 0 is called at that time the value of n becomes 0 so this if statement is false and it comes out of the fun1 function so the fun1 if you are calling with the argument value 3 it prints the value 3 2 1 now we'll see the head recursion function working by calling fun2 of 3 so when fun2 of 3 is called you can observe here 3 will be copied into the variable n and it again it satisfies the condition if n is greater than 0 and here you can observe first the fun2 of n minus 1 will be called so fun2 of 2 will be called so fun2 of 2 will copy the value of 2 into n and uh, it again checks the value of 2 against 0 it is true again so it calls fun2 of 1 uh, so again this value of n is greater than 0 so it again uh, calls the fun2 of 0 so when fun2 of 0 is called so your uh, recursive function terminates so now the values which are printed will be so it will be in the reverse order because it will be terminating the first the fun of uh, fun2 of 0 then 1 then 2 uh, and then 3 so you'll be getting the printed uh, values will be printed as 1 2 and 3 so let us verify by running this program so you can see that the tail recursion output is 3 2 1 whereas the head recursion output will be 1 2 3 hope you have understood thank you